St James's as well, so it's very much appreciated. And all the toys will be thoroughly loved by the children. Give me a like, yeah. This is terrific, eh? Yeah. And um, when are you going to pass your exams on a, on a motorbike? Oh, maybe about two or three weeks. Two or three weeks? Yeah. And what are we going to buy for you then, Larding? I don't know. Huh? I, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have another sporty. Wow. I don't know. Maybe. Eh? Maybe. We'll okay. see. Okay. And I'll trade in my bike, or maybe my sporty goes to her. I'll buy a... Electric glide or maybe some some fat boy. I love the fat boy. Oh wow, it's terrific. A great day, look, yeah. Look at the camera, lad. Absolutely marvellous, yeah. I don't like looking at the camera, you know. Singy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is that it? Can I go now? Oh I love it. It's a good feeling riding a Harley. Uh, actually, everybody I just like gentlemen, you know, just because they got no suit and ties on, you know. I mean but everybody's really good, you know. They even uh, wipe bums, you know, and everything. So we behave ourselves, don't we? Except when one or two of us don't, you know, and uh, this one here, you know, he doesn't know which tent to sleep in. I really, did. truthfully, truthfully, he spent the night in my tent last night. It's good, it's, uh, everybody is very friendly and relaxed and it's just uh, a good time, yeah? They just ride the bikes and that's it, start partying. Yeah, every year we, we just uh, have a a panel of independent judges that go around and, and sort out what they think is possibly the best bikes in different categories, ranging from the classic machines up to the modern. And uh, it's, it's basically something that, that goes to the person, you know, just as a sign of appreciation for keeping a very clean, tidy machine.
got given a bottle of uh, wild turkey for drinking a pint of beer very, very quickly. So I thought that was quite entertaining. You know, it was very more entertaining uh, after we drank the turkey. So, yeah, sick heads and hangovers. Uh, well, you got a soft deal like that, lad, you know, it's, it's a bit heavy, like, you know, if I hold me about, like, you know. Go all the way, go all the way. I'd like to help keep America clean. Give me a shotgun and an M16. Blow them all away. There's something else we know and don't like faggots. Try to tell our kids that... That's a 1995 lowrider, uh, FXSB. Um, I'm a member of the Riders of Great Britain, a member of the East Anglia branch with Americans. And come back out each year. I got in, uh, inducted into the Anglia rep position beginning of this year. Uh, why do I like coming? All the people, all the bikes, all the different ideas you get. And it's a, one great party. One big party and one big family. So many people together with a common interest. Well, a lot of people don't realize the, the amount of the extent of the organization goes in behind it. Uh, the majority of people that turn up think that, OK, it's a lovely sight, people are enjoying themselves, things are running all according to plan. But uh, basically, we, we try and organize things up to about a year in advance. Uh, we try booking bands that turn up on time. We try getting all the caterers organised. And uh, inevitably things do fall down and it's up to us really to get back together and sort out and do uh, whatever we can to try and smooth that out on the day. Yes, I, I, I enjoy restoring them. Um, I mean, in the early days it was a lot of hard work, still hard work, but you'd strip something down, the frame or the mud guards, for instance, and I'll do it by hand. But uh, I, th I think nowadays I, I tend to cheat a little bit. I just take it into the local shop blasters and get them to, to clean all the paint off and then to either the stove enamelers or the powder coater or wherever. And uh, I just get them all back in nice and shiny. And then it's just a matter of um, replacing all bushes and bearings and assembling it all. Um, to get to this stage is, is quite easy, really. Um, the, once you start on the engine and the gearbox and then all the wiring and etc that's when you know, it gets a little bit more complicated. But, you know, it's, it's straightforward, really. You know, anybody could turn their hand to it. I, I see the future of the club being very rosy. Um, at, at the moment, we're on a, an all-time high. Um, I would imagine probably not two or three years' time, it, it might just... Uh, uh, membership may just fall off a little bit, but it's a, a strong club. Everybody's um, got that together in it now and it'll be there for a long, long time. girl sitting on another man's lap. Man pulled out a shotgun, shot me in my back. Oh, that gal, she don't love me. Oh, you know it's plain to see. The girl I love got a whole lot duck in a cemetery. I got mine, boys. I got mine. Ever since I've been wearing a clothes, been living on chicken and wine. it out, checked it out, boy I wanna tell you how, went to the voodoo lady, said I'll tell you what to do right now, five dozen roses and a bottle of wine, better do what I say, keep her right in the morning and late at night, she'll love you till the judgment day, I got mine boys, I got mine, ever since I've been wearing good clothes, been living on chicken and wine. Worked it out, worked it out, 
went down to her door. Landlord shouted down at me, that girl don't live here no more. North, south, head east and west, girl that I love so. Tracked her down to the back of town, checking up with my friend Joe. I got my boy. I got mine. Ever since I've been wearing good clothes, been living on chicken and wine. Sitting on another man's lap. Man pulled out a shotgun, shot me in my back. Oh, that gal, she don't love me. Oh, you know it's plain to see. The gal I love got a whole lot duck in a cemetery. I got my boy. I got mine. Ever since I've been wearing her clothes, been living on chicken and wine.